You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. Do we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles? At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on, you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. Holding out my on figurines quote. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will Scott sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakarot. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy filled with rage. The Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. 
I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? So we need units. What about selling that llama? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. <laughs> That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! Everyone okay? We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey! Check out the old resistance ship. 
Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. What? It's not alone. Get ready. monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where are the flark people? You know all those fails? Shoot stuff. Having fun? Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she doing? <laughs> There's further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Particularly. So, uh, these tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodent? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. Just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? 
I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me... He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I don't think he's face making them up. Blocks. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bag and farkle! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again... Wait, hear that? What's up, people? Incoming! <laughs> Shirts this way. 50 units, as it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills. <laughs> Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move.
catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. That is. Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. The scale is down. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. It's all yours. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots to bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. <laughs> This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes. That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Need your muscles again, Drax. Place it there. This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Agreed. Next, Peter Quill. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. 
I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that for sure! Ha! It is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Whoa! <clears throat> you gotta see this ship! Oh. Behold, Lady Hellbender's Slimy. wrath! Slimy! Even the Chitauri uh, feared her! They didn't guys. fear many back then! You might want to wait to come down here! <laughs> Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Son of a smack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where hey. am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Flark, Flark. <laughs> Quill. Quill. They only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Just come to. Just please the guns me, alone. Me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. DNA code in the Some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure... Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is... more stubborn than expected! That did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we... Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. 
And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Mark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Where'd they go? You must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that jump? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again, and I paint these cliffs gray. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud? Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster work food? On your taste, but the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our. With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? The more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is leader.
was crazy. Oh, crazy awesome. <laughs> you are coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. Bender has an accident. Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Take that thing down, will ya? Yeah? Get me to it! <laughs> Deep freeze. Try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas black. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Top 10 fortresses. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them. So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all- Let's just get this done. Infinity Bridge is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flark thing is looking like we mean business. Groot. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that... I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as her leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. 
Not bad. Okay, here we go. song or something we can sing to kill the time oh ooh, I know one it's called please stop all right yeah okay wait is please stop the name of your song no okay so how long before someone else wants to pull this thing we are 60 clicks from the fortress I'd say closer to 75 well there is only one way to know for sure 0 0.1 clicks 0 0.2 clicks 0 0.9, 2.1, 0 0.3 clicks, 4.5, 0 0.4 clicks, 0 0.5 clicks, 0 0.6 clicks. For the love of one, stop counting clicks. You could enumerate all the ways in which our class, like there, there. 